Hi, I'm Sifu Justin Ock, and this is Instructor Garrett Brunk. And we're out of Lakeland, Florida, and we're going to be going over the jab, jab cross, jab cross hook. Now that could be a rabbit hook or that could be a haymaker. We're going to go over both. And then, of course, the takedown afterwards. So if somebody's going ahead and they're doing a jab cross hook, and then they're shooting basically underneath. So again, jab cross hook, and then shooting basically underneath. So we're going to go ahead and go over that with you today. So. Now, if the guy goes to come in, all I'm doing is just a quick pop or jump, and then immediately moving on. Now, I'm going to move off and have my Munzao up at the same time. So I want to protect my face So as I'm moving in. So as I go forward, I'm going to be hitting and moving forward or hitting and moving forward. So again, if I go this way, and then immediately moving in. So boom, boom as I'm moving on. So again, as he punches, I'm coming in from here. If he attempts basically the cross immediately afterwards, now now I'm going over the jab, and if he goes to cross, I'm stopping it before it gets there. We're also gonna go over what if he gets it off. So when he goes in, I'm moving basically inward. And so if he goes to cross, it should be intercepted by, of course, my monkey. So, I'm moving basically immediately in from here. I'm going to go from there. So hit, hit, hit. And then, of course, sweeping with your fox out. Fox out coming, of course, from your first form. So, again, let's go over what happens next. What happens if your jump didn't work, your cock didn't work, and he's just too quick. So he's just too quick. So he gets off this one and this one. You got a couple options. So again, I'm slipping basically to the side. So I'm cocking, and then I'm basically slipping to the side as I pop. Again, again out of your form, okay? Hitting to the side, that side pop. Hitting to the side, and punching up basically the middle. So again, as he moves, I'm cocking his arm off, moving this way, and hitting basically straight up the center. So right up the center from here. Now I can go ahead, you can do your chain punches from there, you can elbow, you can chop off. So as he moves, right from the center, from here. So that's uh, one option. Second option. I immediately go in for that same technique I showed you earlier, where you pot and turning punch. So pop, turning punch. Except for this time, you're pocking and then turning punching this way. So you're using this arm and this arm to stop the incoming attack. I can move straight up the center, or I can hit off. So you can see it. I can come here, here, or here. Again, blocking and attacking, immediately moving in, hitting off, punching forward. Now, he's off screen, but that's okay. Um, now let's go ahead, let's go into what happens if they go to rabbit hook. So rabbit hook's gonna be a little bit more dangerous than a haymaker in some cases, because as we just practitioners, we're close in the distance, we've got that close quarter combat. By the way, if you have the chance, use your tactics, Use your distance, use your timing, but if you're already in, you're following up, you're trying to end the fight quickly, he may throw in a quick rabbit hook, which is very tight to the body. It's here. I mean, literally, that's not too far from your face, and that might be where your, your head is. If it's further out, sure, he's going to come out further. But the gap in between may not be enough for you to view out or view G and block this incoming arm. So as he goes for the full ordeal, boom, boom, you can close. So you can lift to stop, boom, okay, right from here, where you cover basically from here. Now when you cover, you can also hit. When you cover, you can come down or to the side of the neck. And then from there, you can always move in. So, again, it's here, here. Now, what I did there, if you look, when it came here, that was a hit. So, some of you guys are going to go, 
maybe uh, we don't have those in our system. Well, you have where you come here and over. Here and over. You also have, of course, your bones. The lifting elbow is literally just covering. Uh, Wing Chun has it. Maybe you don't have it in your lineage yet. Um, but again, covering basically your head, A to B, quickest point from one to the other, to go ahead and block and attack at the same time, which is our main objective, blocking and attacking at the exact same time. So, as he goes in, right from here, I hit in, I can wrap from here, if you don't like to wrap because you don't do maybe uh, that in your system for chin on locks, things like that, you can always hit in from here, pull across, hit forward, chop into the throat. Now we have to go over what? The takedown afterwards, yes? So let's go over the first three. So, small, then, small, small, from here. Moving in, covering. Why? Because it's so short. How are you going to cover? So again, crossed, getting back up, going from there. Let's go over the shot real quick. So again, the whole thing, and then he's going to shoot. Now when a guy goes to shoot on you, he's not going to come from here. In fact, when he's here, he's going to be here within firing distance, boom, and move in. It's going to be quick. He's going to drop his level, shoot in, and basically take over the whole thing. Unless, of course, he's doing a single leg. So he's here. He's within hitting distance, and now he's coming across and taking basically from there. So he's gonna duck, he's gonna hit and move. He's not going to leave his arms wide open. He's gonna be here, he's gonna shoot and move forward. Yes. So, with that being said, with that being said, the whole thing will force the shot. <laughs> Now, we went off screen, but what I did after I did it was I underhooked and sprawled out with my legs. Underhook and sprawl. You can also go ahead when you cover here, or if he throws a haymaker, let's say he throws a haymaker, of course I can go here. But when they throw high, their head dips now. So where is he going to shoot into now? The side. So after he throws the haymaker, he is going to shoot at an angle. Throws the haymaker, shoots in basically at the angle. He's getting you to pay attention here, and then he's going to take out your legs. So this happens, throws over the top, boom, we need to, again, get an underhook, push his ear away, push his ear away, don't push at his head. You push his ear away with your gums out. Now, I'm sure you guys do gums out from your forms. Okay? So as you're pressing with your gum, and even if you don't do it there, you do it in your first form. Right? You're gumming down, turning, gumming down. You're gumming out. So when I underhook, I'm also going to be gumming away. From there, I can knee, I can turn, I can basically bring him in if I want to, or I can press out and hit. So again, one more time, whole thing. So one, two, three, I'm sprawling outward, getting the body out from here. I'm gonna take my hand, it needs to be on the ear. Got it? From here, I can eat. I could just pass off, get in. So you can see where that has to hit here. I can pass in, basically boxing the ear with my fist. If you have any questions, or if you'd like us to go into some further detail, let me know. Um, but uh, we saw this question, jab, cross, hook, and of course the takedown. And uh, there's definitely a, a lot of different ways that you can stop it. Um, and uh, we'd love to hear your questions, and we'll give you more of what our answers would be. But again, remember, we're just two men. I'm Sifu Justin Ock. This is... Instructor Garrett Bromville. We're out of Florida, Central Florida, and if you guys have any other questions for us or any comments, things along those lines, go ahead, message us, send them to us. If you'd like us to do a different video on something else, let us know about that as well.